I had a sense being in government and working with politicians, the role that journalists play in the conscience of public officials. To me, that's the most important role we play. That when you make a commitment to do these kinds of stories, the local officials in your community have you in the back of their mind every time they have to make a decision about something that may be inefficient, that may be corrupt, or may just be something the public would be out- outraged if they knew. Well, they slow down paramedics, back up emergency rooms, and cost you money. So how do we get people with head colds and hangnails to stop abusing Cleveland EMS? As City Council responds to our investigation, the I-Team examines another community's innovative response to a growing national problem. This man what? What? I don't believe those are embarrassing examples. Transporting someone who has a sore throat? Well, you know, Tom, we don't live in a perfect world. EMS Commissioner Ed Eckhart fears residents would not have access to health care if they couldn't catch a ride with EMS. They may or they may not. I don't know, you know, I don't know if those people have, have access or not. They all find a way home. And I'm not sure how that happens. How did you get home? The bus. Should you have a right to write this stuff and post it on the internet. Just because someone doesn't like what I like, is that automatically deemed bad? You like writing about molesting children. I like to write about a lot of things. You like writing about raping and murdering women. Do I I go home and do it every night? No. Is this all about shock? Yeah, I enjoy that. In order to be a certified peace officer in Ohio, state law requires you to complete over 500 hours of training. But leave it to Lindale, they found a loophole. Looks like he's performing the functions of a peace officer. We started this interview, you said they don't do that. No, they don't. Well, here they are. No, you have a picture, Tom. I have video. Hey, I'm wondering, are you running a taxi service no. or what? No, this guy. Hey, young lady, can I ask you a question? No. What grade are you in? She may look a little old for elementary school, yet day after day, Cleveland school bus number 292 shows up at her Collinwood home and drives her all over town. Now, who is this young lady you drive around all afternoon? A school teacher. She's a school teacher, huh? Yeah. I don't think so. She's actually a convicted felon with a long criminal record. I'm trying to figure out why you're on a school bus. You don't look like you go to school. I don't think you work for the district. You're not a bus driver. Figure out and go some mother place else. Figure that out. Excuse me. Get away from here. Chuck Kelly is one of about 15 EMTs at the bottom of the seniority system, essentially held hostage in a bitter standoff between their own union and EMS Commissioner Ed Ecker. The best they can under the circumstances. On a typical day, there are just two rangers patrolling the entire Lakefront State Park, a park which begins here on the west side and extends across the entire city to East 174th Street, 14 miles of lakefront, two rangers. The chicken box sting was about to get stung. We're not paying one red cent for that trashy video. What you did, just... It seems pretty shameless that you would do this. You'd bring two men to a hotel room and then try to sell the video. We're not going to pay for this. I don't know what you're talking about. What videotape? I'm talking about the videotape that you're in with two professional athletes that you are trying to sell to us for $25,000. I never saw no paperwork or tried to sell nothing. On four different mornings, we found at least four inspectors busy at work moving the boss's enormous concrete sidewalk slabs back into place. I think you're lying to me. I do not lie. It looks like you're lying right now. When Barbara Bird Bennett stands up in front of the media on March 1st and says there is no evidence anyone inflated any numbers, was that a true statement? No. How do you know that? Well, because I did it. You inflated the numbers? I inflated the numbers on the orders, of course, of my uh, superior. Ghost riders. Ghost riders, yeah, of course. District Chief Legal Counsel Adrian Thompson denies that claim. No one in- attempted to intentionally inflate the numbers. Do you want to talk about anything else? We've said it if time you, and time again. If, if there's you, nothing else, if you're adding four kids to each run, that's an intentional there act. Was no in- there was no intent on our part to inflate the numbers. 
tonight, outside auditors laid out their recommendations to bring accountability to the district's transportation department. That effort is critical to restoring public credibility. And given what's coming, Dr. Barbara Bird Bennett will need all the credibility she can muster. The ALF also believes in shutting down all medical research involving animals. It's not an animal's fault that someone smokes their whole life and then gets cancer. So we should just let that person die? Because it might hurt a mouse or a gerbil or a rat? I wouldn't choose to kill a rat just to save a person. When it comes to scalping tickets, bucks. just about anything goes. I don't want to spend $125 on a $15 what, 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 seat that's a nosebleed. Remember playoff baseball? I might need special medicine to be up that high. I might need a pupper or something. Cleveland allegedly makes it a crime to sell tickets for more than 50% above face value. Do you think this is a good deal, 125 hey, for obstructed view? Hey, you just put a parking ticket on my plane. The law tickets, tickets. isn't exactly enforced. How much? 100 each. Is this, is, is this a good price, 100 for no. $30 seats? How, why right? would you ask the police officer? Hey, man, well, he seems like he's Face failure, face failure. God's going to give you a new blood flow. What was the blood disorder? I, I believe she had uh, a diabetes. But Freddie Deering has never had diabetes. Say amen. What do you think happened here today? I believe my cholesterol is here and my blood pressure also. Because my blood pressure and my cholesterol, they're high. She came to you for high blood pressure and high cholesterol. And, and you cured her of diabetes. And the blood pressure. Well, you didn't say that. Oh, I said cleanse your blood. And that isn't covered, it so that covered it all. It does cover it all, and isn't that the point? Cover it all. <laughs> cover it all. Would I dare do that with all these youth folks on me? If I didn't know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I have a gift. From Leroy, all we require is one good case that will stand total examination. That's all. But where is it, Leroy? I got a gift. Is it a gift or is it a skill? Whatever it is, it works. So maybe this thing can't beat a trained police dog. But what about a vicious Rottweiler? You know, a good old-fashioned junkyard dog. His name is Little Jack. Come on, why don't you take this, you go dance with Jack for a few minutes. No, 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 no. Easy, Jack, come on, baby. Hold on, whoa. Little Jack was unimpressed with the power of dog off. In fact, it just seemed to make him mad. What do you think? I mean, uh... That sucks. That's a, that's a joke. It Somebody gonna work. get their ass tore up. <laughs> <laughs> it does not work. It's, it's, it's garbage. What about alcohol? We do not buy alcohol. You don't? No. They also don't require itemized restaurant bills. If they did, they'd discover what the I-Team found. John Loftus and two guests thrown down $124 worth of alcohol at the Blue Point Grill. Why are we paying for booze? Well, that we shouldn't be paying for alcohol. If that hasn't been caught, then the port should be reimbursed for that. It could start with Gary Failer. When the I-Team obtained an itemized bill for Mr. Failer's $661 dinner party in Toronto, we found $194 was for alcohol. Do you remember the Toronto event? I actually don't. I'm she, but I can't argue with your records. Your people do economic development without getting liquored up oh, with the client. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's just a, a, knowing the, the difference between right and wrong. Vegas suites, meetings on Maui, private planes. Good sound business? This is perfectly normal. Or the wasteful trappings of unelected government? It's mind-boggling. <laughs>